So, nandito kami no, sa Calia Farm. Uh -uh. With uh, Ami. Let's go from the lowest. Yeah. How many cows do you have here, Ami? Then everybody just a second. Yeah. So big. So big cows. Yes, they look good. People couldn't believe that they're going to survive. Yeah. Take care of their health. The name of the kibbutz is Kalia. What? Kalia kibbutz. Kalia. Kalia. Guys. Uh, let me explain about the dairy a little bit. Like I said in the beginning, people couldn't believe that the cow can survive here. We have about 600 heads, about 300 milking cows, okay? Now, the cow don't like the heat, so what we do, we give them showers, like five times a day. And everywhere they go, if they're gonna come back to eat now, now they over there in the milking parlor, you see them? And they're gonna be done milking, they're gonna come back here to eat, and they're gonna get showers again and the fan, you see the big fans? Yeah. They're gonna start working and a shower from here, so it's gonna cool down. So we try to keep them cool all day long. Every day this. Every day. They get milk three times a day, they get a shower. When they get milking, you see the milk in the holding area have lots of water and, and fan together. How much milk do they get generally? A cow, about uh, 20,000 liters a year. About, about 38, 40 liters every day. Cow. Three times a day, the milking a cow. Okay? Now you see each cow, you see them walking, they have like a necklace on the neck. That's, that's a regular thing. Every time the cow goes in to get milk, transfer the information her how many steps she made. If she did more steps than normal, that means she's in need, she's looking for a bull. If she did less steps, that means something wrong, we gotta check why she did CC. Yes. Yes. Lots of water. What? No, no, what we do with the water that comes from the milking parlor and the shower, we recycle the water to wash the country. Okay. Using the water to wash the country, the dirty water. You guys want to see the milking? <laughs> let's, yeah. let's go to the milking parlor. When I was in California, in my two last two years in the US, I start to teach people big farm how to dream. Mm -hmm. So be some big farmers hire my service. Yeah. I flew to Los Angeles, rent a car, San Joaquin Valley, yeah. and I trained the Mexican guys how to. So we're moving to the milking area. No. <laughs> That's a good uh, joke. I um, mean, <laughs> it's like That's a really love. True, yeah. Very, very, very wise. Very true. See how they don't are, like the are they the same species? 
all, 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 all same breed of a cow? Yes, yes, Holstein. 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 Uh -huh. Holstein. Where did it ori where, where did it Holland, originate? Netherlands. Okay, wow. Yes. Fantastic. So where's the radio? That. The it's a transmitter. Let's go to the next part and see exactly what. Yeah. Okay. So, so the transmitter is only to, 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 to measure the distance. How many steps? How many steps? That's Over? Too much? She's looking for a wood. Okay. So I think that kind of transmitter can be done to the human beings, huh? When we eat a lot. <laughs> See, we have 12 cows each side. 12 cows each side, okay. Wow. After the, the milking of the cow, do you export it? Do you sell it in the retail stores? What, no, what do you no. do? Every morning a truck comes. Yeah. See the tank? Yeah. The storage here to store the milk. May I go? May, yes. may just take, take you, Ami. So, ito yung milk storage nila. No? Napaka. And uh, stainless, of course, to avoid yung contamination. And, no? Wow. You see, after we done, sterilize. And it's coming go for tomatic. Yeah. The cow done milking. Yeah. It's sterilized. Looks right now. Wow. So, yeah. Pare. Yeah. Okay. may system sila. Ang maximum dito kasi is 12 cows, no? Uh, so hindi sila nag over capacity or yeah, overload. Kaya meron na rin silang forecast. Yung ito, ito yung nasa brace na yan. Yung sa leg nila. Yan yung ano ano. Uh, Nagde-determine ko ilang steps na sila. Yung steps nila kaya malalaman nila sa computer. Oh, sobrang steps. Kailangan kumain ito. Oh, kulang sa steps. No? Uh, kailangan silang mag ano, no? adjust para mag ano. Uh, mag lakarin yan. Uh, sabi nga kanina ni Ami. Uh, or the cows uh, generate more milk. Kailangan yung balance so, yung yung, 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 yung natin na para, okay uh, the ordinary so doon nagkakaroon ng quality of, uh, quality ng gatas nila no? uh, even siguro yung, yung meat, no? hindi pa natin natatanong yung pero mamaya natatanong natin so, yeah. 
I mean, may I ask, uh, how about the meat? What do you do with the meat? The meat uh, goes to another corporation called Pluva. It's the same company who buys the meat. The price of the meat. And, uh, we have like 100 bulls here. Wow. And when they get to be 550 kilo, 600 kilo, we ship them to the company. Uh, process. Wow. the meat, uh, Ami, you don't export it just for the local consumption? Yes. Oh, wow. Self-sustaining, yeah. Yes. Wow. Let's go out. It's hot. Yeah, so, yeah, tapos na. 